day <clears throat> we're going to make these um, really cool sculptural 3d horses today and um, these horses really remind me of calder-esque sculptures when they get done this one in particular i don't think this is supposed to be animals but it looks like grazing animals to me so i'm going to show you how to make a fairly straightforward horse but after you learn the technique you can really make almost any animal out of this or any kind of sculptural shape out of it and what you're going to need is um, half of like a cereal box and i'm using a dollar bill for measuring and you'll need scissors and a pencil and um, for decoration you can we'll talk about that later you can use paints or colored pencils or markers or whatever you have on hand so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to trace a couple of these dollar bills i'm just using the edge as a straight edge and i'm going to put these right next to each other so that i only have one edge that I have to cut. Two edges actually, here and here. Okay, um, these lines might be a little light. I hope you can see them okay. Then after you've done that measurement, you're going to take your dollar bill and turn it horizontal up to the top of those two boxes and you will um, make a line across there. So you'll notice that this is not halfway. This is a square shape and this is more rectangular down here. These are going to be, these are going to end up being the legs, which I'll show you out of a different material. So they're going to end up being two of these. And um, we want to cut a slot in it where it will go together on the horse. So this will be the body and then the legs will fit in like that. So the slot is going to be halfway down this square. And the way that you figure that out is that you can fold your dollar bill lengthwise. And when just in the middle of the square, you can just put two measurements there. And then that will be the slot that you're going to cut that's going to go into the body. Now, to make the legs, we want to round the top so you can round the top like that. And then down here is where the legs are going to be. So you're going to do another, both of these shapes are like a U. So you're going to make that into a U. Round that off. And again, down here, this is a U. And then you will cut those out. Here I've started to cut these out. I want to leave this, this is going to be the body of my horse. So I don't want to, um, want to make sure that I leave a large area of my cardboard that I can use for that. And these two, now that I've cut them into a big square, and I'll cut this, I'll round this off here. Cut out the legs. slot down here. I'm going to put it a little bit more into the middle so that you can see that this um, has a slot right in the middle that goes halfway down. And I will cut this one out. All right, now I have my two legs with the slot cut in down from the top of each of them. I'm going to put those to the side and um, I won't need this extra cardboard bit so I'm going to cut this off. Now I'm going to draw my horse body. In this area here. So here is one that I've done. This is out of a file folder, um, which also works, but it's um, a little bit lightweight. The cardstock works a little bit better. So again, I'm going to use my dollar bill as the measurement for the body. And I'm going to put this over to one side um, so that I have room for the head. And in looking at photographs of horses, you can see that their body is a long shape here. It's a little bit like a hot dog bun, sort of a shortened hot dog bun. So I'm gonna round the horse here. This is gonna be the back of the horse. And then the neck is really a long triangle and it starts almost halfway down the horse. So you wanna make sure you get that nice and large. So I'm gonna just mark it here a little bit. And then the front of the triangle comes up out of there. I want to leave room for the head, so I'll have this neck coming up a little bit straighter. And then the head is really, it's almost like a round circle. I've done it on this one here. You can see it's a round circle for the top of the head and a smaller circle on the bottom. So I've just barely left enough room for my 
horse here. If you had a whole cereal box, I'm just doing this on half, it might be easier to do it on the other side of the cereal box. On this side view, I'm not going to put the ears on. That's going to go on the front face, so I don't need to worry about that. Okay, and then I might um, have this come up a little bit like a horse and this come down a little bit like a sway back on a horse. Okay, and then once I have that, I will cut that out. All right, now I want to put the slots in the body so that they'll fit in with the legs. And we're going to use the same measurement that we did before because we know that this is a whole dollar and we want the slots to come up halfway. So I'm going to fold this over in half and then I'm going to mark. I don't want to put them too far to either end. So about here and about here. And then I'm going to um, make the lines for my slots. I'm going to move this over just slightly so that it's about here. And then I can go ahead and cut those. And these will fit in here. And this should go all the way up to the top. So I have, let me cut this one just a little bit. I don't think I cut it quite all the way. So the legs should fit all the way to the top of the horse, like so. And sometimes when you put these on, they sort of flop to one side or the other. You sort of have to um, manipulate it a little bit so that it will stay in the middle. And I've also found that um, if you're getting frustrated, sometimes I put a little piece of tape here or here. Um, I like to make the tape round rather than just a square piece of tape. When they're round, they look a little bit like um, the rivets that Calder used to use in his sculptures. So um, here's the horse body. Um, and you want to make sure that it stands up. Sometimes if one of the legs um, is a little bit off, you can trim it down. You want all four legs to be on the ground. Um, but it's a little bit easier to do the head without the legs on. But I know that at this point it's exciting to put the legs on it. So I will take them off now and show you how to do the head. So the head is a piece that looks forward um, and this will have the ears on it and you want the head to be the same length as your sideways head so you're gonna put that down on your cards board and just trace half of it and then you know that that's going to be the length of your horse head and this you might want to make it look a little bit like the horse is looking at you you can look at some pictures of horses I have this one here um, so the the nose comes out a little bit more than the um, the sides of the face right in here but then this is why this would be where the eyes are and the ears are rather large if you're looking straight at the horse but they're not they're not like a cat's ears they're sort of more leaf a leaf than a cat All right now I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out Okay, now we need to cut the slots for the head. Um, and I found when doing this that the head ends up being all different kinds of sizes. So you wanna make your head and then you'll figure out um, how far to cut the slot. And you can just eyeball it. You wanna cut it about halfway. On the head itself, you're gonna cut from the bottom up. So starting at the nose, you're gonna cut halfway up. On the head that's attached to the body, you're gonna cut it from the top down. So again, you sort of eyeball about halfway. And you want this slot to be parallel to the top of your horse's head there. So you're going to cut these two slots. And here. And then when you slide this on, again, sometimes it wants to flop to one side or the other, but you just have to change it up a little bit to make sure that to stay where you want it to um, and now we can put the legs back on so if you're going to paint this I always suggest that you use a drier paint like tempera or acrylic um, and if you use watercolor it might saturate the paper fibers a little bit too much and make it a little bit warped so it may not work so here's my basic horse now for the tail 
Um, you can, um, you can actually add string on this one. That was a demonstration I did a long time ago that didn't get finished. I uh, punched a hole and I added some string here. For the main, I punched a series of little tiny holes and I was going to put thread all the way through here. You can collage this, especially when if you're doing um, the cereal box. You might not want your horse to look like this, although I actually find it looks kind of cool. It's sort of a blue cereal, cereal horse. Um, you can just use glue stick and do some paper on top, and then you could either paint or draw on that. Um, you can paint different colors. This is a horse that I did out of a uh, file folder. So it was, uh, I colored it with colored pencil and um, did each piece a different color. And with these thinner ones, sometimes they are a little bit floppy, and I find, again, the little pieces of tape will help. I just put a, um, a round piece of tape here, which you can't see so much because part of it's still the beige of the file folder. But they do stand up. And um, if you have enough room on your cardboard when you're drawing your horse, you can actually uh, cut out a tail um, when you're making the body as well. Or you can actually just glue a tail on. You can either do it with paper or have a um, cardboard tail. So this stands up like that. Now once you've done this, the same principle will apply to all different kinds of animals. Here's a little leopard I did, which I'm looking forward to decorating. Um, you just have to remember that when you do the slots for the legs, the slot will come halfway down. Um, halfway down the, it'll go halfway up the body and halfway down the leg. And I made sure that this leg was going to be the same width as the body so that it would be nice and strong when I put it together. The smaller animals actually are slightly stronger than the larger ones. And this is my tiniest one that I've done. It keeps getting squashed, but here's my little tiny mouse that I did. Um, so that's the basic thing, and then you can just sort of take this in any direction that you want. Um, I suggested to some kids that maybe they would want to write a horse poem on here, um, a poem about um, open spaces where horses like to roam. Um, you could uh, have a theme. It could be a cloud horse or a night sky horse, um, and it could be uh, a recycled horse. It's completely up to you about where you take it from here. And then if you want to, you can either just fold it up and have it go somewhere flat, or you can take it apart and put it away for a while once you've enjoyed looking at it and it's time to have it have a different home. Great, that's all for today.